So you want to play Germany. Germany has a focus tree which can be expanded with the DLC Waken the Tiger. There are 6 main branches, 5 without DLC. The industry branch is under 4 year plan. Air innovations, army innovations, and naval rearmament improves your air force, army, and navy respectively. Without a DLC, your only political tree is Rhineland, which is historical Germany, that also includes some alternate history paths. With Waking the Tiger, you get the political tree that can allow you to restore the Kaiser or re-establish a democratic Germany after opposing the current government. Going down Rhineland will allow you to remilitarize the Rhineland, annex Austria via Anschluss, get war goals or diplomatic options for multiple countries. Included are the Vienna Awards which can grant land to Hungary and the reintegration of Luxembourg and Alsace-Lorraine if you reclaim them. Further political options can be found in 4-year plan which allows Germany to puppet both Hungary and Romania and form Reichskommissariats which are puppets. Army Innovations also includes the path for the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact and a potential alliance with the Soviets by completing the Focus Treaty with the USSR. Naval Rearmament also grants political options for Germany that went down Rhineland by going down Plan Z which allows diplomatic options for Scandinavia and the Netherlands. With the alt history paths provided by Waking the Tiger, the player can choose to restore the Kaiser or go democratic. The political tree for the Kaiserreich requires going down the naval rearmament branch where you could choose to secure your place in the sun and get Austria, Hungary, and Italy as your allies by rebuilding the high seas fleet, or Germany can accept British naval dominance and ally with the British to take out the communist French, or to bring Kaiser and Victoria to restore the Holy Roman Empire. The Democratic Tree focuses on making the Central European Alliance to take on the Soviets and to secure democracy in Europe. When it comes to historical strategies, the Germans can produce a large industry to fill a large army. Strategies include an infantry-only army that involves a lot of offensive infantry divisions or a tank army with infantry to fill in the front lines. To start off, Rhineland is a good choice and getting Goebbels after Bormann will let you get war economy very early. I usually do the Army Innovations Tree before 4 year plan to get a better industry bonus uh, ahead of time, but there is a good argument for having 4 year plan uh, be done right after Rhineland. You do Anschluss as soon as it's available and go down the political tree. Germany is more than likely going to be the one that starts World War II via the focused Danziger War. The Czechs will only resist if world tension is high on historical. After invading Poland, around Maginot will give war goals on the Benelux countries to go around France's Maginot Line, which is a series of level 10 forces that would cause high casualties to Germany if they attack it. Invade the Netherlands first and capitulate them so you have a larger border with Belgium. If Belgium is invaded first, the small front line will stall your advance where the French could reinforce causing a stalemate, especially if Germany fails to build a strong enough air force. Switzerland with the My Blood Alone DLC is a pain to invade and should at all costs not be invaded unless you have a strong enough infantry army to invade them. The British can be naval invaded with the starting lineup of German naval production with air superiority, intel advantage, and some luck. If having troubles with naval superiority, ports striking the British can force the British fleet to move giving a brief moment of naval superiority to invade Britain which, once landed, is easy to do. In the peace conference, if you puppet British Malaya, you are going to have a war with Japan if they went down Purge the Kadoa faction. Also steal as many ships as possible as that will help greatly. Invading the Soviet Union can be done by shattering the front line initially and keeping up the momentum. Supply hubs are your number one priority. Encirclements will reduce the Red Army so you don't have to deal with as many when you have to stretch your supply lines. Collaboration governments will lower the threshold for capitulations and are extremely useful against the Soviets. The Soviets also appear to be hard-coded to finish the fo focus army reorganization around June 1941, which will lower the organization of the already weakened Red Army divisions. Air superiority will prove useful as cast can do a ton of damage. 
Thanks for watching, be sure to like and subscribe, you know the deal, and this is Jonathan800 signing out.